Hi friends, welcome back to the vlog and happy birthday if today's your birthday. Hello from me and my crazy bedhead and welcome to my very first ever unedited vlog. Um, I have seen other creators do these, but I have never done one. I've been wanting to for a while, but it's a little intimidating. So let me just back up and explain what this is if you've never seen someone else do this. <clears throat> also, prepare yourself for lots of sniffles and coughs and stuff because I am still fighting this cold. It does not want to go away. It's very annoying. Um, anyway, though, um, basically an unedited vlog is exactly what it sounds like where I just keep it really raw. I'm going to keep in all my mistakes, all of my pauses, all of my ifs, ums, us, whatever. <laughs> They're all going in there, all that stuff that I would usually cut out. And um, we're just going to do a really like real and raw day together. And that's sort of what this is all about. Um, so I've been nervous to do this because it's sort of scary not being able to just like correct yourself. And also like if I do make a mistake and say something that I really wouldn't want to be in the clip that I have to redo the entire clip because there is no stopping, starting. I also can't like, sometimes I'll take like two minute long pauses in the middle of a clip while I think about what I want to say next and can't do that because I can't cut out the pause. Um, I think maybe I'll take a little bit of creative liberty occasionally with that, but the goal is to not do it at all. It's supposed to just be really raw and us just here together exactly the way that it happened. <laughs> So that's what we're going to be trying today. I think it's going to be a fun new challenge, something different. Um, I've been feeling like, sorry, my chair's making a lot of noise. And also this part of my hair is just like, and my battery died, of course. Anyway, this part of my hair is just like a little wild. My hair in general is just a little wild this morning. We're going to put it up because I have a pitch call at 11 a.m. So I need to like look a little bit more put together for that. Um, and yeah, obviously the hair is a little unruly, but... I wonder what I was saying before that. I think just that like, yeah, that's what today's video is gonna be. I'm excited. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. Um, that I was feeling a little burnt out slash M, like not necessarily burnt out on work, but more just like, I don't know, I'm a little uninspired. I think that's the word for the vlogs right now. I just feel like I'm sort of settled into this groove right now where there's not a lot of overly exciting things going on to share with you guys and so it's hard to you know vlog when it's just sort of the average day to day I feel like the vlogs can get a little repetitive with that um, I'm sure that you guys feel the same way so I don't know I, I just thought that maybe this would be nice to switch it up I've been brainstorming different ideas different things to bring into the channel just to get me re-excited re-inspired keep you guys excited about it so yeah anyway this was one of the ideas we're gonna see how it goes let me know if you guys like this idea if you dig this video um, because if so maybe I'll do more of them I don't know we're gonna see how it goes today it's going to be a little test for all of us but I'm excited um, so I am just going to hop into making a thumbnail for today's video. It's Monday, so I need to finish that up and then, um, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll probably, I don't know. I don't know when I'll check in with you guys again. We will see what happens. Um, having my morning coffee, which is so sad. I had to switch to coffee. Look how much fucking creamer I put in there. Not good. <laughs> um, but I had to switch to coffee because very sad my chai teapots seem to have been discontinued we're gonna see if they come back i'll be keeping an eye out but for now it's just normal coffee which it just it's not as fun it's not as good it is not as good it's fine but it's not as good and that's where i stand um okay let me go ahead and get into making this thumbnail now look at this cute little cat hi yeah you're taking a nap because you were up all night Keeping us awake? Yes, you were. This nap is not going to last long. Mama's going to keep you up all day today. So you sleep all night long. Okay? So enjoy it while you can. A little sassy. <laughs> we are out and returning our package. Oh, a lot of bugs. You guys know when that happens when you like walk through a doorway or something and there's just like 10 million bugs there? Ugh, I hate that. Anyway, um, off to return the package. It's actually a sort of nice day out. It was really cloudy this morning, but blue skies are out. It's a little windy, but nice temperature. Can't complain. What a nice day. Glad I got out for even just a short little walk to run a quick errand. 
into the post office. Success. Back home we go. Ten minutes outside. <laughs> Okay, we are back home and ready for some lunch. Ignore the sink, I'm just filling up our water uh, filter thing. Anyway, um, we have some leftovers in here, so I think I'm gonna go for my leftover ramen. We got ramen from Jinya last night. The spicy, creamy ramen from Jinya is truly incredible. I'm so obsessed with it, so, oh. <laughs> I have a good amount of leftovers here, so this is what I'm going to have for lunch. Turn this off, let's heat her up. Oh, this is a dream. Highly recommend if you order from Jinya that you get the spicy creamy vegan. It does not taste like vegan broth or anything and you can add whatever meat you want into it. So that's really nice. It's literally just a yummy broth. I don't get it like because it's vegan necessarily. I like non-vegan ramens as well. Uh, but so good. But I do recommend that you add extra broth. It's like $3 more. But I find that it's just not enough broth without it. Plus definitely not enough to have leftovers. So there you go. Now we have some nice ramen left over here. My hands are all dirty. I would usually cut this out of the clip, but here we are, unedited. <laughs> ramen. Yum, ow, that's hot, 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 hot. Yum, I'm so excited. Starting the new season of Selling Sunset. I have heard a lot of opinions about this season. I really did not like season four. I really wasn't gonna come back to it, but it sounds like some shit is gonna go down in season five, so we're gonna give it one more season, see how it goes. I'm very excited. And oh my God, this ramen is so, so good. Groceries just got delivered. I feel like this is going to be a challenge to do with no editing, so bear with me a little bit here. Maybe stumbling over my words quite a bit. We're gonna see what happens, but let's do a grocery haul, shall we? So first up here, I have eggs. Um, I couldn't fully remember, but I was pretty sure that I had just watched a video about how like um, free range eggs and like cage free eggs um, don't actually come from chickens who are living in like better circumstances. It's like, instead of being in a cage, they're all just like shoved into a building together. I don't know exactly the details. I don't know, anyway, but I was pretty sure that I heard in that video that pasture raised are the best. So that is what I got here. I'm sorry if that is not correct information. We're just gonna move on. I <laughs> uh, got, oh, <laughs> got some bread and also got some more pitas because found a recipe that we really want to try for lunch this week using just some pita bread. So there you go. Got our usual tomatoes, the um, Campari on the vine, so good. What else do we have in here? Veggies, I got two cucumbers just because they're sort of a lot of things that I wanna make with cucumbers this week. Also, it's just one of my favorite vegetables in general, so I like to always have it on hand. I figured I'd rather have you know more than I need than not enough. So there you go. Two bell peppers, one red, one green. I got a red onion for a little recipe that I wanna make this week. Some grape tomatoes. We didn't make it to the farmer's market yesterday, so um, yeah, we had to stock up on everything from Ralph's, which is fine. Celery, this is a lot of celery, more than I needed, but it was the only option. <laughs> uh, we have two avocados here, love it. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of us in this clip. I'm so sorry. Usually I cut all that out. Feta cheese. I like this one with the tomato and basil. It's really good. Love it. Two zucchinis, again, for a recipe this week. Actually, a recipe that we're gonna make tonight. So you'll see that in this vlog. White onion, or actually I think yellow onion. I always get confused between the two, but that is the yellow onion. We have turkey meat for sandwiches, as well as some ground chicken for this really yummy firecracker chicken recipe that I like to make. Haven't had it in a while. I'm pretty sure it's in a what I eat in a day video, but oh, it's so good. All right, I uh, got some stuff for sushi. We needed some seaweed, got some hummus. I actually really liked this one. We got this one last time and it has like little chickpeas in it and stuff. It's really, really good. 
we were all out of our sriracha branch so restocked on that restocked on some soy sauce restocked on some sesame oil because we had run out of that as well as on some salt because our grinder ran out we have a can of garbanzo beans here we have a can of artichoke hearts for a really yummy recipe snack thing that i want to make this week and then lastly we have our just like 90 second microwave rice things that we use it's just so so easy to make rice this way saves on dishes saves on time it's just the go-to and that is the grocery haul okay i hope that wasn't too painful i hope i wasn't like uh too much during that but this is what we are in for today with the unedited vlog anyway let's see it is 1 37 now i'm gonna work out in two hours i have a 3 30 workout um, I'm getting through my work really, really well though, which feels amazing. Always so good to just feel like your to-do list is not crazy overwhelming. <laughs> so loving that. I think, uh, honestly, I should be able to wrap up by the time, uh, my workout comes around in like two hours. So that's sort of the plan. I'm just going to power through. We're going to have to see what I can get as far as workout footage today because you know, I'm not really supposed to edit it. Like no time lapse, no like just setting up the camera and taking a piece from it. Hello. I'm speaking French. Thank you. So loud. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm going to see what I can do about that. Uh, and yeah, like I said, we're making a really yummy recipe tonight. A little soup. We haven't made soup in a while, so we're excited. Just finished getting dressed for my workout. My favorite little workout set, of course, although... I'll talk to you guys about this more later because I don't really have the time right now, but I do have stains on it now, which is really upsetting. I will talk to you about that in a second, but my workout is like beginning. Look at this hair. Anyway, so let's go get into it. So I just tried a little TikTok recipe to make homemade Cheez-Its and it was basically a fail. <laughs> no. They all melted together, but that's okay. They still taste delicious. They just are not homemade Cheez-Its. Bring them over here, beautiful girl. <laughs> they're really good though. Don't tell you whether or not they're They're just like crispy cheese, so you can't go wrong. I like crispy cheese. Mm -hmm. Good, right? Yeah, not bad. They're yummy. They just don't really taste like Cheez-Its. I didn't have the right kind of cheese. You need like the ultra thin or something. But I figured oh, I'll just try it. They all totally melted together. But I just broke them apart. They still taste delicious. So, you know, not a total fail. All right, come we are getting a soup going for dinner tonight. Very excited right now. And here we have onion, carrot, red bell pepper, and celery. We're just sort of letting that sweat down a little bit. And then we're going to add in some potato and zucchini and broth and we're just gonna let it cook all together and then we're actually gonna blend it to make a really like smooth and creamy soup. It's gonna be really good. Mm. Very excited. I told Connor to do an unedited vlog and now he's just insisting on yelling inappropriate things. Me? Yeah, you. you <laughs> anyway, we were listening to the Hades sound soundtrack as well because we're actually gonna no, go and the see it. Album. Well, yes, the album that it's based off of. Um, but it sounds just like a musical, this whole album. It's actually sort of crazy. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go see that sometime this month. Next month. No, this month. I know. Yeah. Next, sorry. This month. You're right. May 2nd. Fuck, we're in May. Yeah. yeah How did we get here? <laughs> so crazy. But anyway, we are just listening to it a little bit. This is a folk album. Like, it's such an indie folk album. I know, like, totally. Perfect, like, no wonder it was turned into a musical. Yeah, exactly. I'm excited though. Yeah, me too. I'm 
very excited. I think it's going to be really fun. We've been talking about seeing this show for so long. Two years. So. Obviously, if anyone is like into musicals, you know about the show because it won Best New Musical. And... Did it? Oh, yeah. I didn't know it won Best. Yeah. Well, I and uh, <laughs> we are we're very excited. Hut hut. Completed soup looking so good. We put a little dollop of sour cream on top, some croutons in there. Looking so delish and it tastes amazing. Very, very excited about this. Wow, end of the day, you guys. We did it. We did the unedited vlog. I can't believe it. Oh, I didn't even know Molly was back there. Hi, miss. What a cutie. <laughs> um, anyway, yes. What a day it was. It's sort of your average, average Monday for me, but I hope maybe like adding this new little twist made a, made a small difference to something slightly different. It was definitely a fun challenge to have to like think on my feet, not take as many like long breaks during clips and just like know what I'm gonna say, which now suddenly I'm realizing like, I don't know what I wanna say next. Oh, there goes Molly Cat. I guess really I'm just coming on here to end the vlog. Connor went to bed um, about a half hour ago. He has to be up for a call at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Just so brutal, I feel so terrible for him. Sucks, he has a 6 a.m. call and a 7 a.m. call. Then he has to go into the office. I do not envy him right now. <laughs> um, Molly Cat, Molly, 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 Molly. Just please, because I can't cut this stuff out of here. <laughs> chewing on stuff over there. Anyway, what was I saying? Okay, yeah, Connor went to bed, so I think I'm going to finish the first episode of Selling Sunset. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much my plan. Then straight to bed for me. But thank you guys for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. A little bit of chaos. And I will see you um, in my next video.